Welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, marketing, it just it just gets out of hand, y'all. There's there's stuff associated with things so that when you want when you're interested in the thing, then all of a sudden they want you to eat or experience yeah. the other thing. Stuff associated with things. That's can we be story fooled? of my life? Can we be fooled? Ooh. No, we can't. He's not a great ping pong partner. Cinema but snack first, versus cinema we're quack. donating $1,000 to Human Rights Initiative of North Texas. Human Rights Initiative provides legal and support services to refugees and immigrants who have suffered human rights abuses and promotes international human rights. Please join us in giving at hrionline.org. Thank you for being your mythical best. Stevie! Hey, how's it going? You're gonna lie to us. Yeah, can you be fooled? It. I don't know. I don't think I can. Um, I'm going to tell you about snacks that have a movie tie-in, and you're going to tell me if I'm lying to you. Marketing. Or if I'm reading facts. Get a load of it. For example, Del Monte is usually known for canned and packaged fruit, but after the release of Quantum of Solace in, in, 19, in Solace. 2009. Solace. In 1909. Solace? Solace? Okay, I literally, okay, is it, what is it? Because I was like solace, solace and, then, and solace. then we thought solace. Solace. And that's solace. why I messed up the year 2009 by saying 19. Yeah. Quantum, Quantum of solace. Of solace. 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 That's what I said. Solace. Right? Solace. 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 Del Monte did what now? In 2009, they made a 007 fruit popsicle in the shape of Daniel Craig's torso. Just his torso? Just his torso. Shaped like a triangle. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, I remember when that first uh, Daniel Craig 007 came out. I was like, I'm going to check this out. And it and worked. you did. It really worked. But you haven't checked it out since. Um, I haven't seen them all, no. Yeah, I don't, I mean... Just depends, this this, really. this has just got fake written all over it. I mean, Del Monte. Of so that's the part that I'm having trouble with. I mean, it's a fun idea, but it, I don't think I don't think fun when I think Del Monte. I think corn actually, not even fruit. I think pineapples. Well, you could. Yeah, I mean, I think. Do Del, they have corn I in think the can? De, they probably do, but Del Monte is known for their pineapple. I didn't say it's real. Uh, I don't know if they specialize in. I just don't. I don't think they specialize in that kind of processing. Oh. I think they just do fruit and like maybe they might go fruit cocktail, but they wouldn't go fruit push up. It's not a push up. It's a popsicle. No, the torso does a push up. We're both saying that you're lying to us. You are both wrong because it was real. Oh, oh when you said torso, goodness. I pictured no head. Yeah, you're right. I I mean I didn't know what it looked like, but this is a torso, Hold neck, on. and are head his situation. hands in his underwear? That it is does an appear. incredible pop. It, uh, it looks like he's grabbing his take a moment to take nards. in the detail because we've had some pops. We did a whole thing. You remember when we pulled out the SpongeBob and the thing and they couldn't even get the eyes in the right place? This is awesome. Meanwhile, Del Monte is doing like, you know, I can Michelangelo's his... David version of freaking pops. I can see his package. It looks like he's at a urinal. Like if you put that up to a urinal. This is the pissing Craig. He's also got like that three-fourths angle head tilt, which I feel like is artwork. I mean, they they could have gone with a straightforward face. No, that's but... why he's at a urinal. Because oh, because he sometimes can't you look go up. straight. I definitely think we need Stevie, to bring it back. I don't. I've have never you had the urinal. I have not. I've never had that experience. Well, I'm if, surprised. If, if you ever find yourself at a urinal, okay, you'll 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 instinctively you'll find yourself looking up, and I never think that. Up. You'll never look. I'm, you've never looked. I, I want to look at what's the reason, happening. I realize the reason why people look up, or the reason why I find myself looking up, is I'm trying to get away from the pee smell because it's other people's pee, uh, and I'm trying to get away from that pee smell, and I'm also trying to say, hey, I am not looking at anybody's package unless it's Daniel Craig, and you better believe I'm going to look at his right, package. Yeah. I mean, like 007's package. I right. want to tell that story. But do you want to lick his body? <laughs> because that's really the question that you're no. that you're faced with, and every time you open one of these up. Like, I feel weird about licking. What what part do I start with? He's looking at the guy next to him. He's looking at his package at the urine. He looks Is he shirtless in definitely. the movie? Oh. Like, is that why he's shirtless in the popsicle? I think he's a sex symbol, yeah. 
I, I think, think they were just like, moment. you know what's under that suit? Well, you got to get the lot. You got to get the push up pop, not push up pop. You got to get the pop. I'm proud. Out. I'm proud of Del Monte, but I, I'm not proud of you because I thought you were lying to us, and I'm disappointed that you were telling me the truth. Del Monte. Okay. Lie to me. In 1998, Nestle put out a nuclear bar in correlation with the Ben Affleck blockbuster film Armageddon. Some consumers were offended. That made me. That made a I lot don't of think of that as a that's, yeah. It, that's given reason. a lot of credit to Affleck. I always say Affleck. Okay, it's one of my with? things. Oh, I Carney. Think of it, I think of it as a Bruce. That's Willis a Bruce film. Willis movie. Well, Bruce Willis gets top billing. You guys are going to have to fight when about Bruce this. Bruce Willis and after. Ben Affleck are in something together. Bruce Willis gets the gets top billing. Am maybe, I wrong about this? Maybe not anymore, but no, I think forever. Some consumers were offended by this chocolate bar filled with Rice Krispies and Pop Rocks because they thought it made light of the hazards associated with nuclear power. This is this, no, this is fake, y'all. This is this is real. It's real. Yes, let's see it. Nuclear chocolate. It looks like an energy bar with that that type of aesthetic. I like the idea of putting candy like pop pop rocks inside of a thing though. Oh, and there's a free movie card inside too. That's nice. What's a movie card? I think it's like a it's like a Wade Boggs card but for movies. Yeah. Mm. It's like, "Hey, look, this is from the movie, but it's a card." Here's the planet exploding. That's what that one looks like. Here's a card with an explosion. Bruce, yeah, ben Bruce Affleck, Willis is the one that made his, it. To, ben Affleck's face is on the poster. Bruce Willis made it to on the, the, side. The, the meteorite or the asteroid or whatever it was. I didn't. I never saw that movie. Did because Affleck there was even make two, it? Two came out at the same time, and I didn't watch either one of them because I couldn't decide. But I know what you did watch. Wyatt Earp instead of Tombstone, and I regret it, but it wasn't bad. Avatar. The oh. booming box office success of James Cameron's Avatar back in 2009 led to an influx of all kinds of blue merch. Yeah. One of those was the short-lived line of all-blue Avatar Starburst candies, which included several different flavors in various shades of blue, including Navi, Blue Raspberry, and I don't even know how to say this word. What? Unobtainium Sour Berry. Unob yeah, I get it. Uh, you know what I just got? I just got the discontinued snack headache. Yeah, I got it a second ago. I th I had two, one too many gummies. So, uh, um, such a California this, thing to say. This feels like it should be. Wait, wait, real. wait, 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 wait. What? Why is that a California thing to say when you have too much discontinued food and you get a headache? Because something in it makes you feel sick, Stevie. Why don't you? What? But why is that a California? Why is that a California? I'm also very confused, but I decided to move on. Such a California thing to say. I don't know. Don't ask me to explain myself. Headaches? Headaches from food is a California thing? I don't know. Headaches from deeply expired small bites of food. You know, food. we only do that here in Hollywood. My head hurts. Um... I'm sorry, I needed clarification, so I'm glad I didn't get any. What were you saying? Yeah. It, I don't remember the question now. I think I'm gonna say that this is not real just because the first two were. I, I'm gonna be honest uh, with you, I'm doing test uh, taking. Which Avatar one is Blue, this? Avatar Blue oh, Starburst. This one makes the most sense to me, personally. Yes, so yes. It's fake. Yes. It was fake. Mm. It's kind of a. Kind of lackadaisical lie. When are there. they gonna come out with that Avatar? How long does it take, James Cameron? When is it? Is it slated to come out at the, like Christmas? I think it. I think it's. Or is he waiting for th full theater capacity? Is that what he's waiting for? I think he's he like just watching doing... how Kanye releases his albums. Has anybody in here talked albums? to James Cameron in a, in a December minute? December twenty twenty two. Is he do, is he pulling a Kanye? How long does it take, James? Where it's like, oh, I want to change it. I want to change it. I want to change it. Yeah. Pulling a Kanye could mean a lot of different things. There's a lot of post work. All right. Lie to me again. 
food probably didn't make sense as a movie tie-in product for a movie about people dealing with food shortages, but that didn't stop Subway from releasing a line of fiery footlongs alongside Hunger Games Catching Fire in 2013. These included the sriracha chicken melt and a spicy steak melt with pepper jack cheese and creamy sriracha sauce. Fiery footlongs with Hunger Games. How many times have you been to Subway in your life? First of all, that's the first question. Uh, probably, I, don't know, I guess, 324 times. Yeah, it, 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 there, there was a period there. When now I know that you're you, you have a few like you're you know you, when it comes to the food you're a simple man you're gonna you're gonna have a few things that you might eat so you might not be I'm, the ones who you might I'm not refined. be a guy that's going that's to go in for the latest promotion but you know me I'm if I hear about some fiery thing I'm gonna go in and say I want that without yeah. fail every single time without fail I've ever gone into a subway and asked for the promotional sub they still are like. Okay, what do you want on it? Like, the, like at the basics. I'm like, I want the promotional sub. Like, if there's a picture, it's a certain set of ingredients. That's what I want. And I always say, just like the picture. And they're like, so yeah, but what do you want on it? The, what I, what's the point of having a promotional sub if I can't tell you to make it for me? So I haven't been to Subway since. Yeah. I, I, you feel I'm not right? going to take up for Subway. Yeah. So I'm sorry. So I think they tried this. I think I think this. And then is, people tried to order it, and they never made it. This doesn't. This. Do, I mean, you even said in your in your preface that it doesn't make sense. Which I seems did like, say that. Which seems like I read that. It's such a California thing to read. <laughs> so I think. Yeah. I think it's real because you were hedging. Yeah. Right. It's real. Yeah. Let's see it. Sriracha chicken melt. What do you want on that? I'll ask I want exactly what's on the thing. Tomatoes, peppers, onions, cheese. I think one time I actually was like- Tomatoes are on the box. Pointing at a picture and saying like, you see how there's those things on it? What kind of bread? I want the bread for the picture. This is not hard. Well, you know, but they- Well, okay, why don't they ask me, do you want it like it's made? Or do you want to change? Do you want to change anything about it? That's a good question. I mean, what do you want on it? Don't ask me that. Nothing is. Nothing has a way that it's made at Subway, except fa- when they except release for something. When they do something, so then it's like, you know, they're gonna. They're in the habit of saying, "How do you want it?" Well, they need to break that freaking habit. Because then you can just say the way, just like in the picture. I do, and they always then ask, "But what do you want on it?" That that's where they're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where they're, they're wrong. definitely wrong. Why are the tomatoes on the bottom? I don't know, but that's how I wanted it. Huh. Such a California thing to put tomatoes. Speaking on the of bottom. tomatoes on the bottom, it remind, you know it's one of the things that they they would talk about uh, on the Mythical Kitchen Channel, and we should tell people to watch the Mythical yeah, Kitchen yeah, yeah. Channel. Yeah, yeah, If you like things like why do they put tomatoes on the bottom of the Subway sriracha thing? Uh, that's the kind oh, of stuff that they, they think about. If you want to hear kitchen. Josh talk about his uh, relationship with a monkey snake, uh, you hear about that too. Mythical Kitchen, it's a channel. Lots of great stuff over there. Check it. In 1997, Bomb Pop came out with a limited time iceberg popsicle to coincide with the release of the Ben Affleck film, Titanic. (laughs) Instead of the signature red, white, and blue flavor combo, this treat started with Started with vanilla ice cream at the top, lime flavor in the middle, and a blue raspberry base. This treat had everyone saying, I'll never let go. I'm sorry, Stevie, but you have to say that joke. Okay, yeah, that was a bad one. Do you think <sighs> that pre-internet, that that this, a- is, this was effective marketing? Because think about it. Now they do things just for the novelty of being able to have it be talked about on Twitter, right? That's a big marketing strategy Like the now. Daniel Craig popsicle. But back in the day, 1997, nobody had Twitter. Nobody's really on the internet, except for like, you know, like one kid in your neighborhood. Yeah. He's like just like going into forums and cussing at people. Yeah. What is the point? This is would this make sense? Is somebody going to be like eating a bomb pop and be like, "How do you need to see Titanic?" Do you think it worked? And it's an ice. It's the iceberg. The iceberg. Uh, I'm saying yeah. I, I think it's. I think it's. It's, it's begging. It's begging to happen. Iceberg. Do you think ice it cream. worked? Oh. Yes, I also think it worked. I don't think it worked, I mean, and I don't think it was a thing. I remember Titanic being such a huge 
thing though that like it was one of those let's see 1997 so i was 10 and it was like if you got to watch it you were really really cool and and like it was like one of those things it was pg-13 and it was like the biggest movie and so i feel like anything associated with it you know you were cool for eating a popsicle that was titanic themed you know what i mean i was 20 <laughs> was I it remember, cool for I remember you? it was very cool I was like I get to see PG-13 <laughs> by myself I remember walking out of the theater I, seriously do you remember who you, who you saw it with? I, mm, no okay. but I remember walking out of the theater so I would have been I guess a freshman in college walking out of the theater and just thinking like that was one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life like just thinking that it was so good like, 20-year-old me was so ready for Titanic. Like, I just, I thought it was amazing at the time. Apparently, I watched it, it since. It was, right? Um, I remember seeing it. For its it, time. I remember seeing it just out of obligation because it seemed like you had to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you were uh, 20. I, I'm locking in my reel. Real. Yeah, it was it was fake, but oh. it would have been a good idea. Is what I was saying. Yeah, you know? right. It would have, but they didn't need marketing. Is really what you were saying. Yeah, sure. It's what we're all saying. How about one more? All right. Uh, let me see. What do I wanna do? What and, you want to do? And okay, she's singing her decision song. The studio behind 1996's hit disaster film Twister Ooh. collabed Helen Hart. with. Twizzlers to create a dual flavored pull and peel twisted candy called Twizzlers Twisters. These twisters consisted of a new black cherry flavor twisted alongside the traditional strawberry licorice. Now, speaking smart. of Twister, this is smart. Link was dating a girl in college who had a friend that she thought that I sh- would be, you know, that we would be a good thing for each other. Mm-hmm. And so we went down to like this girl's like cousin's house somewhere near the beach. Okay. And so, like, I, I Link vaguely remember it. And, his, and they're like, we're going to watch Twister. And Link and his girlfriend are sitting, like, over here. And me and this girl that I've just met is sitting over here. And so, I, y'all were doing some things, you know, just things that girlfriends and boyfriends do while watching movies. And I'm We were twisting? To, yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, I think I should, I, I should kiss her. I think she wants me to kiss her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she wants me to kiss her. But I'm watching Twister, and I don't want to stop watching Twister. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm focusing on the movie, but I'm thinking about the moment for the lean-in. Can you do both? No, that's why I waited till the credits rolled. <laughs> Closing when, credits. And when the credits rolled, that's when the making out began. I highly recommend that. If you're really into a movie. Did you tell her? It's like, you know, I'm, I'm really into you, but I'm a little more into Twister. No, I mean, there were lots of signals being sent both ways throughout the entire movie, and we I'm knew like, what was wait, coming. Just but we need, wait. But we want, I mean, this, I mean, uh, Bill Paxton, rest in peace. I mean, that, that was a peak performance for him. Helen Hunt, she had, she kind of peaked. It was a good movie. With that movie. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. it was great. This is another one I remember. Credits made me horny. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, the credits. The I thought you said Rhett erotic. has made me horny. <laughs> the credits were so erotic. I watched it on a um on a bus. On oh, like a yeah. like now a you're talking. like a long <laughs> field trip bus. Nothing like being horny on a bus. You know, with those um with the TVs that they had like two yeah. TVs on the bus and they were box TVs and you're like, oh, this is cool. But a lot of people don't know that tornadoes will really get you in the mood. A lot of people don't know that. But in my experience, they really will. Yeah, you think like about you don't want to go out. Only going to be here for a certain amount of time. Yeah, mortality. Love is love. It's fake. Oh shoot! Shoot! After all that, oh, that was loud. Twister. There we go. There we go. Just like a pat their shoe. Everyone, pat their shoes for good luck, so I don't screw this up. Yeah, yeah, pat. I need to hear the pats. I need to hear the pats. I need to hear the pats, or I'm going to talk about the time that I pooped my pants.